Now at 5.30, from this to this, a tale of two Echo Parks as city crews clean up the space after removing a homeless encampment. City leaders call it a success. Meanwhile, homeless advocates take a wait and see approach on what happens next. Here's CBS 2's Joy Benedict. There was a different feel at Echo Park as workers carefully dismantled tents and packed away the belongings of those who once called this public space home. It's an awful complex problem, but nobody has a long term solution. Neighbors are conflicted about the removal of the homeless from the area. I see you right here. It was a move that brought nightly protests this week and more than 180 arrests from those outside the park gates as social workers encouraged the unhoused inside to choose to leave. This is the largest housing transition of an encampment ever in the city's history. Today, city leaders called it a success. Gratified. I'm gratified that we've housed nearly 200 people since January. The cleanup of Echo Park is a project by City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell, who says the park is now in need of half a million dollars of repairs after being used as a makeshift tent city for months. It is one of the crown jewels of the Los Angeles Park System, and we're going to return it to that standard. In order to do that, community organizations originally set out to rehouse about 60 individuals who had set up tents inside. As word spread, though, that housing was going to be offered, more homeless kept coming. And by this morning, about 200 individuals living on the street now have temporary shelter. Some stability that they haven't had in a very safe environment with doors that lock behind them. The majority of those displaced were brought here to the LA Grand Hotel, which is being used as temporary housing. All these folks are now in a safe, nurturing environment in a four star hotel with food service, medical services, case services. The belongings left behind at the park are being tagged and stored by the city. Those who chose assistance will be housed for six months in temporary housing and hopefully in that time get the tools and the help they need to eventually find a permanent home. I think we need to house people who are homeless and be able to return safe, secure public spaces in Los Angeles. And it's not an either or. This operation has showed you can do both. As for how long this project will take, I'm told that just gathering and storing everyone's goods will take a couple of days. Then they will move forward with cleaning and restoring the park in hopes of reopening it to everyone sometime this summer. From Echo Park, Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.